In today's video, we're going to be painting up the Carrion Crawler from the Dungeons & Dragons Noel's Ars Marvelous Miniature Range. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is we're going to start off with Necrotic Flesh here, and what we're going to do is we're going to be using this to paint all of the Carrion Crawler's underbelly. So, it starts from the bottom of the neck there, so just remember to get in there with your brush real nice and neat. Now, I've just watered down the paint just a little bit again to make it run a bit smoother in all these places so it can get in between all these uh, very small sort of uh, nooks and crannies to just, just make it that little bit easier to paint and then once you've done that uh, you can also see that I've also just painted up the tentacles as well that same color but once all that's complete what we're going to do is we're going to move on now with uh, some Vallejo um, model color, uh, game color, sorry, uh, khaki, and we're going to be using that to do the, uh, what would you call it there, the outer part, the, the back sort of shell piece of the carrying crawler, just getting it all, all over the head, just avoiding the tip of the head here, because we're going to be painting that up a different color, just giving it a nice even coat over the whole thing. So once we have all that complete and dry, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be moving on to that part of the face that we didn't paint up the khaki with our oak brown here by Army Painter. And we're going to be painting that all over the uh, the, the face of our carrion crawler, uh, including the, the little antennas on the top, just being really starting to be a lot neater now, trying not to get it over the areas that we've already painted up. He also has two little... Uh, mandibles here that we're going to be painting up the same color as well and I'm also just going to be painting up on the inside of the face uh, inside of the mouth sorry uh, all the same color as well just the whole whole head we're just making this oak brown then once we have all of the carrion crawlers head complete we're going to move on with some necromancer cloak and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be painting up all the little uh, legs that the carrion crawler has on him so just being careful now, so I'm just coming in here with a bit smaller detail brush and I'm just trying to get each individual one as neat as I can over the whole lot. He also has some on the very back of his uh, body next to his tail as well, so don't forget about those. And just trying to keep them all as neat as possible. Okay, so now once we have all those legs painted up, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using some orc blood here and we're going to be using this to paint the inside of the the tentacles that the carrion crawler has on its face just very carefully and neatly there's actually a nice little uh, ridge line on the inside of those tentacles which will give you a nice easy guide for painting them on but we're also going to be using our orc blood to paint the inside of the carrion crawler's mouth as he's got a little tongue poking out so don't forget to do that as well and just remembering just to try and keep it as neat as you can that's why we're using our fine detail brush here to try not get any overspill. And once all that's complete, we're going to move on now with a matte white. And we're just going to be using this here in a very small amount. And what we're going to be doing is we're just going to be picking out the little teeth that the carrion crawler has on it. So I'm just grabbing a really fine tip brush here. And I'm just more catching it with the very tip or the edge of the brush and not forcing it on there. Just just enough so it's picking them out rather than I'm completely painting it on with any sort of real force especially with the bottom teeth here as I'm just using more the side of my brush just because they're so small and so picking it out with the side of your brush can really help that uh, detail get picked out quite easily than forcing it in there. Okay now with those teeth picked out what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using a matte black and I'm going to be using this to paint in the eyes of the carrion crawler. You may wish to paint them up a different color, but uh, in the Dungeons and Dragons monster manual, I had a look at the picture for sort of a reference point for this, and carrion crawlers have these real deep pitch black eyes, just to add to the fear factor, I guess, there. So that's ex the reason why I'm painting up these colors, just trying to keep it as close as I can to the actual thing. So once we have all that done, what we're going to be doing is we're going to come in here now with a leather brown. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be painting a stripe down the back of this carrion crawler. Um, 
just to give it a little bit more detail, I noticed that uh, some of the Dungeons and Dragons pre-painted carrying crawlers uh, do actually have a stripe down their back. So I'm trying to sort of imitate that as well as give it a bit more uh, variety in terms of look rather than just having it as a plain boring one color on its back. So now that we have that stripe all painted in, just trying to make it look nice as we can there, just trying to give it a nice even look, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be coming back with that same leather brown and what we're going to do is we're just going to paint up this uh, base that the carrying crawl is uh, sitting on just being real easy and messy with it but just being real careful at those uh, narrow points where it just meets because it does have a little bit of a gap there so just going in there really thin with the paint which I've done just watered it down a little bit can make it just a little bit easier to get down in those gaps so then once all the base is painted up what we're going to be doing is we're going to move on using a shade using our serif from CP here which is a wash and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be covering all the uh, serif from sepia on the uh, underside of the carrying crawler so we want to go as much as we can sort of trying to avoid some of the legs but not worrying too much about it as they're quite a dark color but I'm just trying to be as neat as I can here but all up the underside of the belly as well as I'm going to be doing this over the uh, tentacles as well and just trying to get in between those gaps of all the little feet and don't forget too that on the back side of it running along the bottom of its body on the opposite side there's also uh, just a little bit of it poking through there that we painted up so just remembering about that as well while we're doing this then once all that wash is dry you can see it's given a nice dirty effect here so what we're going to do now is we're going to move on to another shade using our Agrax earth shade I'm going to use this to cover the rest of the carrying crawler so we want to use this to cover the head and all over the back and all over top of all that stripe to give it that real uh, earthy look like it's been crawling around in the depths of a cave really bringing it out too and one other quick thing I may not have mentioned just before is I just went over just the very ends of the all the little legs and just painted on a little bit more of that khaki to make it uh, cover up the bit so it had like a little bit of uh, sort of the outer shell covering on each of the little legs just to add in a little bit more detail and then once you've done that all you have to do is stick the base on and you're complete and you can see it looks really nice uh, just with what we've got on here but what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be adding one more step to this just to give it a little bit more excitement to the piece and what I'm going to be doing is using some Vallejo earth texture and what this is is uh, sort of like a paint that has uh, sand in it uh, it's like this texture and what you do is you place it on the miniature and it gives it like this nice ground effect and so I'm just using a little tool here that you use for uh, carving with clay and all sorts of uh, uses we're using that there to nice and gently pat it down what I'm going to be doing is covering the whole base of this to make it look like the carrion crawler is in a cave now this is just a, of course an added effect you can do this if you want to or even just using some PVA glue and some sand just to add on a nice effect but this is totally up to you and I'm just doing this here to make it just pop that little bit more Once that earth texture has all dried and hardened up, we are now complete with our carrying crawler from the Dungeons and Dragons Nolzars Marvelous Miniatures range. I hope this painting tutorial has been helpful for you and you can use it yourself. And just by adding on a few paints and just one little effect has really made a massive difference to the 
overall miniature. But I'd like to thank you all for watching. I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you later.